Good morning, YouTube. All right, it is the middle of January. It is January 17th to be exact, and it is about 80 degrees out here. Check it out. And in this video, I am going to unbox and give my opinion of the Sun Dome 6 by Coleman right there. So here we go. Got you now. He almost got me. All right, so basically we've got this Sun Dome 6 here and I bought it on Amazon. I'd been looking for a new Coleman tent for a while. My other one bit the dust. I still had the Coleman three person for about 15 years. It lasted a long time. So when it came to a new tent, I wanted to get the Coleman. I want to get another Coleman. It seemed to work decently priced, last a long time. So set this one up and I think it's gonna be just right. Six person, plenty of room I can stand up in. Um, it'll pack down small enough to go in my truck. So this kayaking season, this one's going with me. All right, so it's coming in this box. You know it have a box. Like I just got this out of the Amazon box a while ago. Luckily I got a knife. Alright, so here's what's coming in the package. Basically, it's the tent itself, the sticks, a, uh, I guess it's like a mat or a little bag. Then we got stakes and then the top and some string with some draw, draw tights or whatever you want to call those things, draw strings. Looks like all the pieces are here, so here we go. We're going to set this bad boy up. So I'm literally like not even five minutes into this. I got one, I got the sticks almost all the way put out. One more to go. Got the stakes there, top here. It's literally like putting together my old Coleman, just bigger. So I'll check back with you in a second. So I'm about 15 minutes in. I'm trying to see if what they say on the directions is true. Okay, so I'm putting this up myself. I've got it all up, check it out. It's got huge space in it. Now, okay, so is this a one-man job? I can do it with one person, but I will just say this as far as getting this up, and some of you might not agree with me, but when you connect this one up and over to the other side, there's a little prong in it right here. Let me show you. As you can see that it goes inside this right here. And when you're connecting this one to this one, by the time you walk from this side to that side, this one's already popped out. And then you just keep playing that circle. So what you have to do is put it in the stake or put it on the little hook there and then walk across the tent, holding it up to the other side, put it in there and then attach these clips here all the way over. Now that's what worked for me. I'm sure there's a trick to it. This is my first time putting up the big one. I've always used the little one. I can put that one up by myself, no problem. But you don't want to wind up breaking these because you're bending them all over the place because they're not supported. With two people, super easy. But anyways, moving right along. Now I got to put the top on, which is right here. But as you can see, cell phone holder, stuff holder, and then the various vents there. And then I think there's another one. Oh, there's another cell phone holder. We'll do a tour here in a second. All right, just me and Bella, my uh, tent compatriot. She's sniffing it out right now. We just got done putting it together. Follow the directions right here. Let's check out the directions. 
right there on the inside of the bag. Also, there's a way, I guess, to tear this and make it wider if you can't get it back in the bag. But here is the product, minus the tent stakes and the tie downs. I haven't put these on, which you can flare it out a little bit because I'm gonna tear it right back down. I just wanted to see what it looked like. This is the finished product, pretty much. Um, here's the door. Here's the inside. All right, so here's the inside, and I am standing up. We got a pouch right here, a pouch right there. Got this back door here. Boom, there's Bella. We got a vent there, and then the top is netting right here. So it's pretty much just like my little one, but big. Power outlet, I guess, or a power cord entrance there. So if you got a heater or a fan, because what I do is I put a fan in here during the summer, and then a heater during the winter, and you're rock steady. Um, usually during the summer, I don't put this top on right here. I just put, I just put, I usually take this off during the summer, take it off, put like a 15 foot tarp over the top of it on a line going across. That suffices for a roof during the summer. It gives me a little breathe room, cross circulation with the air, and it's awesome. It's been a little, it's been a few nights in the woods in the army, know how I want it. Now, but if I had to, I could use this because whether Coleman likes it, says it or not, this will not keep the rain off of you. It'll simply get soggy after a few hours, get wet, and drip in your face. Bella likes it. Anyways, that's pretty much what I got to say about this. It seems to be just like my old one. Seems like it'll hold up good. Uh, there's really nothing I, I can say I don't like about it. It's the same tent I've always had. It should last a long time. Here's a side view. There's the other vent. And yeah, I mean, should pack down the box just fine. I'm gonna take it on my kayaking and adventure trips this, this year and put more people in there. Have a little, in case it rains, I got a little, um, a little space to hang out in the tent instead of just sitting in the bed. Um, gives me a little more extra space. So that's why I got this one. That's really my review. It looks great to me. I'm gonna put all the description and all the links in the comments below. Check those out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and on Facebook at Yak Motley. And I'll see you guys later.